Hello everyone! Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. On this channel I use cash envelope stuffing and zero-based budgeting to manage my self-employment income. In today's video I'm going to be cash stuffing a total of $1,385. So let's get into it. To get started, I have the cash here from the bank that I have already counted and I actually already have um, <laughs> gotten into a little bit. So I spent $70 at the um, grocery store when we went as we were picking up the cash to get ready for this video. So my grocery budget will be slightly altered minus, well, $69 technically, um, which is where this one random dollar came from. And then I'm going to um, start with my wallet first. I typically have not stuffed my wallet, but I have a new wallet here that I want to get started with and I also have some change that I want to empty out. Not a whole lot of change this week. Um, there's one random coin stuck down here. There we go. Um, still have to scan in my receipts to earn points, but I am going to be stuffing, let's see, $60 for my personal spending. And this I'm just going to put directly into my wallet here, and that will be all set for the week. Alright, I have my budget sheet over here to the side, which you can see for a total of $1,385. The only amendment is that I will not be stuffing the full $260 for the food. I will be doing minus $70, which is $190. So I just have that set to the side for reference. Alright, going to get started with my savings envelope. And this is going to get $20. I am actually going to try or aim to put $20 in this every week indefinitely pretty much. 100, 200, 300, 350, 370. My goal is to have $1,000 in this envelope and then I will basically put that money in the bank and build another $1,000 and continue on. Taxes, I'm not stuffing anything and I'm actually going to take this out I think right now because I'm not going to be using this envelope anymore. I have set up automatic payments to make more uh, more payments towards our taxes and set aside more money and this is automatically set aside around $1,500 extra a month towards taxes. Extra debt is going to get 40 and this is extra debt payments on top of what we are already paying. Gas is not going to get anything at this time. Subscriptions is going to get 20. Most of these envelopes are starting with zero because if you watched my last uh, savings challenge update and my savings update for the month of July, I did an end of month recap and I basically took out all of the extra $1 bills as well as any uh, buffer or rollover that I had from these envelopes where I basically over budgeted for the amount that we needed to spend on bills. Cell phone is also getting 20 and that is all it has right now. We're actually thinking about or I'm thinking about upgrading my cell phone. Right now I have a Google Pixel uh, cell phone and I would like to get an iPhone. I used to use iPhones all the time but my work, uh, I, for work I needed a Google Pixel and it just integrated with all the Google stuff at work. Um, and so, but now I think I might switch back. So I probably will have to stuff a little bit extra for that to get a new phone. Trash is going to get its normal $5, basically $5 a week for three months, and then the amount is billed quarterly. Oops. Food, I was testing out making a new envelope here, and I'm going to be combining groceries and dining out and restaurants together all in one inclusive category as it were. So we're going to be doing $50 actually well yeah $50 so we're going to do in 190 so I'm going to do and try and find some 
not so nice 20s 20 40 60 80 let's see 90 120 so this is 170 right and we're gonna do 190 so we need one more 20 okay let me just double check this all these bills are really really soft 50 70 90 110 130 150 170 190 perfect so that is going to go in here oh and there's an extra 20 so now it is 210 in our food budget this will last us about a week and a half because august has 31 days in the month and it actually works out to be almost five weeks so we'll have to like continue to roll over that little bit car maintenance is getting 160 and i did a 100 dollars bill uh, let's see a 50 and a 10 yeah because we uh, just had our uh, car checked up on they ran a diagnostic on it and they did like the 75,000 mile checkup or whatever and everything checked out good but we did have to pay for that so that will be on the credit card for my next cash uh, unstuffing that I do 100 200 250 260 270 275 280 and then I will also be bulking this envelope up to pay for a thousand dollar sorry is it a thousand yeah I think it's a thousand dollar car deductible insurance deductible or I might make a separate envelope I'm not sure this is our over budget fund um, actually I have two two new envelopes I want to create so a month ahead and an over budget fund and I'm gonna put fifteen dollars in here fifteen wow that ten well these are all not great so whatever <laughs> So now this has $25. Oh, I see what I did. Okay. I want to put an extra $100 in here with this $100 bill. Yeah. Um, so now it has 100, 200, 300, 350, 360, 370, 375, 380. Yeah. Um, to save up towards a deductible as well. That's what I was missing. Okay. Got this all stuffed and completed. Next up we have sinking funds, which is also going to have a few changes in the envelopes, but I am still working on creating my custom ones myself. Health is going to be getting 60. How did I do this? Yeah, I did 320s. Okay, so now health has health and wellness 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 255. Great, that's awesome. This pays for a lot of our supplements, vitamins, as well as wellness checkups and um, anything else that we would need for health and slash fitness wellness related things household is getting 80 20 40 60 80 and that is all it has right now don't really have a lot that we need but we do have a small list of things we need to go to costco um let's see home decor is just going to get five this is the most sad looking fives I have ever seen. I don't think there's really any good ones. Whatever. <laughs> so my work has been really, really busy lately. This has $20 in it now. And I work for myself, um, which I actually own two different businesses. And um, I also so I have a consulting business where I do uh, work for one specific client a lot of uh, management work business management things like that and then I also have my travel business and this well this is a side hustle this YouTube channel family fun is getting 10 <laughs> 
these tens and fives. Like, this one is so, so bad. I'm surprised it's even holding together, TBH. Um, but my work has recently with my client, my consulting business has really taken off and it has gotten really, really busy. And so they actually are offering me the opportunity to work with them as an employee starting in 2024. And so I'm considering that. I don't know if I want to do that yet. It's weird when you work for yourself for 12 years, like I have full-time self-employed to then work for somebody else. All right, $10 is going in gifts, so now it has 15. And I also have this little gifting goal sheet here, so we're gonna start with week one, which is $10. And I will mark this or like color it in or something when I'm done. And then at the end of it, let's see, you get $150 in 10 weeks to go towards gifting, which I just think is a fun little, a fun little savings challenge. So of course the thing, the, the biggest benefit to, you know, working for somebody else is they pay part of your taxes. They can also give you benefits, um, paid time off, things like that. And then, you know, on the flip side, you don't get to manage your schedule as much, or you have to work more hours, or you have to work overtime sometimes, you know, when they call you answer, when they text you answer. <laughs> so things like that make it a little less flexible, but you know, as I'm getting older and I'm thinking more about like saving for retirement more consistently and you know I'm not going to be just in my 20s and 30s anymore so I'm going to have to think about those benefits really outweighing the cons if you would. Beauty is going to get five dollars so now we have 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65 in beauty. Oops. So I don't know it'll be an interesting change to work for somebody else more than I work for myself. I'll still have side hustles, I'll still have the travel blog, I'll still do things on the side, I'm sure. But uh, it'll definitely just be a change. Clothing is gonna get five, so now it has 15 in total. Lawn care is getting skipped. Let's see, how much does it have right now? 30, okay. Birthdays is getting 10 and then personal spending for my husband is getting 120 which I think I did all in 20s 20 40 60 80 one 20 okay and then that'll pretty much do it for this binder and then we only have one more binder left which is our savings challenge binder I moved the emergency envelope into this binder and emergencies this week is getting 100 so now it has $350 I'm gonna be trying to put away 100 in this emergency fund every week uh, as much as I can 50 or $100 as much as I can travel is going to be getting 110 Gosh, I guess I'm going to take this really, really crappy 10. Um, <laughs> so now it has 100, 200, 300, uh, 310, 320. Yeah, so this is just general travel budget, and I wrote on the back here a couple different places that we're going the rest of the year, as well as Thanksgiving trip that we do for a couple different family members. Um, and then this hot springs trip that we take every fall is paid half and half, half up front and then half when we get there. What kind of uh, fall trips are you taking? Are you, do you have any fall plans or anything like that? I'd love to hear them or hear about them. We always go to a really nice hot springs resort and it's really relaxing during the fall. It's usually cold when we go at night and you know but it's still like relatively warm and nice during the day it's a great time of year I love fall and um, this one is getting skipped this one is also nothing to worry about there our Las Vegas trip which is oh hold on this one is getting five dollars some of these are out of order I feel okay 10 20 or 10 15 20 
and then this is a um, over or when you go under budget on something and that money will roll over into this sort of bonus. So our Las Vegas fund is getting, let's see, $50. And this is for our 10th wedding anniversary trip. 100, 200, 300, 20, 40. Cool, 340. All right, we'll be booking our hotel soon. We've already booked the plane and the flight and all of that um, for that trip. Some of these are definitely out of order. Okay, this is actually getting 20 bucks. All right. <laughs> no, it's going in this one. Okay. I moved some of these around and I'm just like, what is happening? All right, so this is my new buffer savings challenge to get an extra $450. So we're putting 20 in this. So now we have 50, 70, 90, 105. And I will color in another $20. Yep, yeah, that's the 20 that I put in there um, after this video. Or sometimes I like to do it at the end of the month. I'll calculate all of it and count it and then color in um, one of the one of the little money signs. I don't think I'm saving anything in that one this time. Our Christmas holiday savings is going to be getting 20. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out 25? Is it getting 25? It's getting 25. <laughs> I'll figure it out, guys. I wrote it down. It's one of those things where, you know, you write it in your own handwriting, you make a note to yourself to remember it, and then you can't understand what your note was or what your handwriting says. It's, it's great. Okay. $25 for Christmas. So now we have 100, 200, 20, 40, 45, 50, 2, 50, and I will color in another box here. So I'm saving $25 um, through the end of this challenge every week to make an extra $600 for Christmas. So that'll be really fun. My coffee savings challenge is going to get a $5 bill. Each one of these little cups is worth $5. So now it has <laughs> One of these is not like the others. It has 15 bucks. All right. And then that is it for this envelope. Sorry, this binder. I am going to put this extra dollar that I have in my $1 savings challenge here. And then Finally, what we're going to do is continue on with our 12-month savings box. We're moving on to August. This is the first week of August, so we will be saving $65. And that is what we have left, 50, 65. These bills are not the greatest, but we will make it work. I started this savings box challenge at the beginning of July. Yes, July was my first full month. So we will save from now through the end of the year. Um, and this is where January starts. So we will start in January, but we'll go through December. So I'm just recording my video. So. <laughs> I don't care. I'm here to be disruptive. Well, don't touch anything. I won't touch anything. And don't touch this and don't touch my mic so I you can't won't. kiss me. Sorry. Yes, I can. Okay. Only a little bit. Are you done yet? <laughs> okay. Okay, you look pretty. That's it. Thank you. Bye. That wraps up um, this cash stuffing for the first week of August. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Also would love to hear any plans that you have for fall or what your travel, uh, travel plans are. Thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.